Hey guys, it's 6.25 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, May 24th. Is it the 24th? I just can't remember. They all go together nowadays. Yeah, it's the 24th, 2018. Had to come, we're down on Luana Street between Kahukai and Leilani. Had to come in uh, across a little bit of a lava flow across the road. Um, you know, some of the first flows. But uh, we come out here because we have new activity uh, between Luana and the next street over towards the east. Uh, Luana is obviously closed uh, between here and Leilani from that lava flow up there. Um, so let's let's go in. We gotta come across the pole here. That's that's been uh, uh, well, looks like it's literally broke off at its base. Uh, yeah, this look, looks like it broke off right at the base. Um, so it wasn't lava that brought it down, but uh, I guess the pull of the other poles down there when they came down. So we have all this. So let me step over here. Got to be careful. Don't want to trip on any of this. Um, according to Scott from Valhalla White Tours, we have permission to come on these people's property because he came and filmed it for them. So I'm not trespassing. Uh, we're very conscious of that. Try not to trespass. Um, don't like to do that. But, uh, so yeah, so this is one of the homes that have unfortunately been destroyed by the lava. And as you can see, this is taller than me. Uh, I'd say this is probably about 10, 12 feet high up there. And, uh, I don't know where Scott went to or how I'm going to get up there. Or how he got up there. So I'm going to see if I can find my way. Uh, nice little easy way. Uh, we'll come up over this way. You know, this is still people's property. They may come back and rebuild, so I want to be respectful and not trample any of their bushes or, or anything. Um, even though the, the property's been destroyed, there's absolutely no reason to show disrespect. And what I'm about to show y'all is unbelievably spectacular. And uh, so I'm, I'm waiting until I get to a better vantage point to show you. And you see we, we got some smoke activity up there. Uh, we've got uh, some black smoke over here. That is probably a structure burning. Uh, could be the road. Could be, well, could be anything. And I just felt some heat coming up from between some of these rocks. This is all fresh lava. And they're not even two weeks old. And uh, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to conceal what we're seeing, but uh, just so you know, this lava is what we call aa -ah lava. It's the rocky, chunky, really thick stuff. And according to the USGS, it's actually uh, the, the, the leftovers from the 1955 flow that was expelled. Um, but now what we've got is the, the pohoi hoi, which is the fresh stuff. Okay. And this is really difficult to walk on because it's just crumbly, crumbly, crumbly. Now this is doing what's called the stomp test. Stomp on it and if it doesn't give way, it's safe. Okay. Are we ready for the reveal? Here we go. Well, and thanks to some of you guys, I've got some new words. One of those words is tragic, and it definitely is tragic. Still think it's uh, a little short. I actually, I've been thinking about coming up with a new word, a word that doesn't exist in the English language, to uh, describe this. So I'm going to ask y'all guys, help me, come up with a word. A new word doesn't exist. It's not in the dictionary. We want to create a new descriptive adjective that describes this that uh, hopefully will be good enough to uh, get into the dictionary. If there's ever been a better time to create a new word, I think uh, now is the time. So let, let's, let's do a little bit of zoom here for y'all. Oh, 
it looks like we got one, two, three there. And then over here, looks like we got another two right next to each other. So that would make five fountains. But uh, I'm seeing one back in there throwing up a little bit every now and then. So it may just be a crack spewing, but not an actual fountain. Oh, we got some more black smoke. Maybe another structure. Could be some roads. Don't really know for sure. Wow, this is going to be a long video, guys. I think one of the longest ones I've done yet. So, but what we're seeing out here, I showed you all the ah-ah, uh -uh, but all that out there that's got the, all the red glowing lines in it, that's the hoy hoy. That's the really runny uh, stuff. It moves a lot faster than the ah-ah, uh -uh, and uh, that's fresh magma. At least according to uh, the geologist and their, their chemistry test. That's the stuff coming out of Puoo and Halimaa, excuse me, Halimaa Maau. I said that wrong. It's Halimaa Maau, crater up at the summit. All right, so that's the Luana Street uh, on the Kahukai side of Leilani Avenue. I do believe there's another road back there, but. Uh, uh, which is uh, Ho'okupu, or should I say was Ho'okupu. Um, it is now nothing but uh, a lava field. Hmm? Uh, or Makame. I, I really don't know. I'd have to look at the map. It's just all the roads are vanishing little by little, so it's kind of hard to keep track of where's what or where what is now. So I believe this is... Uh, I really don't even know what fissure number this is. I don't even think they know anymore what fissure numbers these are. It's just active spot A, active spot B. <laughs> but it is still a sight to behold. Hey right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I think we're going to go somewhere else, not sure. Um, but again, so I got a couple tasks for you. Help me come up with a brand new word to, to add to the English language. And uh, also, let's help spread this. Um, you know, I, I haven't asked y'all really to share anything on Facebook or anything like that, but I think this event really needs to be shared with as many people as possible because it is a once-in-a-lifetime thing for me and being able to take this type of footage up this close and, and share with all y'all is just uh, such an honor and a pri privilege for me to be able to do so. And uh, so I'd like to ask y'all to, to share it with your Facebook friends or, or whatever platform you, you, you think would... would uh, get the knowledge and information to as many people as possible so i appreciate that mahalo so until next time